All right, well, a popular song these days that people like to learn is called Wagon Wheel. So I'm gonna do a little tutorial on that. You're gonna need basically four chords. G, which you can also do baby G if you'd like. You're gonna need D. Okay, and you're gonna need E minor. That's everybody. And C, you can do full C or baby C. It's up to you. <laughs> All right, so as we go through, the main thing that you'll be uh, having to work on in addition to the chord changes is the strum pattern. I kind of like going one and and four and down, down, up, down, up. So like, for example, here's G. Down, down, up, down, up. Okay, D, do that same thing. Down, down. Up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. I'm trying to show you, but I can't get everything in the, in the picture for some reason. It likes to record the ceiling. <laughs> e minor, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, and C, whichever way. So that's something, getting those chords, just practicing that and getting it. Uh, let's try the intro. So we go. Doing it C twice on each chord. Again. Then switch. So it kind of cuts off on the uh, copy that I have in front of me at the moment, but down, down, up, down, up. And that probably, I think that works for the whole song, or at least for you for practice purposes and the purpose of this learning video, you could do that. Miss Beth, I can't keep up with that. Let's do it again a little slower. Down, down, up, down, up. To D, set and go. Down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, switch to E minor, set and go. Down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, switch to C, set and go. If you learn that part, you're set because the rest of it's just putting it with all the words. It's a fairly long song uh, printed out. It was three pages, so it's kind of long. But get that intro, mainly learn the four chords, and then your next goal, of course, would be to do them without having to pause in between. <laughs> the words of course you know and then we can see how quick is it between chords let's see heading down south heading down south to the land of the pines on my way to North Carolina made it down the coast in 17 hours taking me a bouquet of dogs And then, of course, the big uh, chorus. You know, it's it the way I'm seeing it. Sometimes you'll do the strum pattern I said once per chord, but then at the end of the phrase. 
like, hey, mama rock me. On C, there was time to do it twice, and then you would go back into the continuing of the chorus, uh, rock me mama like the wind and the rain. Interesting. So, you know, you'll have to listen to the songs. Usually you always do in, in uh, learning songs like this with chords and and the lyrics and everything all lined up. And sometimes the the chord changes are not lined up with the words. I believe in this case, this copy of it seems to be fairly accurate. So best of luck to you again, G. Don't forget to check that you don't have anything plonky sounding, D. Good, E minor. C, getting it right. that this part is shaped right on all of the chords too. Want to get that resonant sound. Happy practicing.